Hello gamers, how you all doing? In today's video, I'm gonna discuss about a very important tool for every PC gamer. You guys know I post lots of benchmark videos in my channel. And the most frequent question that I get is, which tool you use for benchmarks? How to show FPS like here? So, today I'm gonna show you a basic tutorial on, how to monitor your CPU, GPU and RAM usage like this and, how to set up your own benchmarks. Okay, before moving on, let's learn a little bit more about benchmarks. The tool that I'm using for benchmarks is MSI Afterburner. It's a simple but very powerful tool. You may heard about it already, but anyways it's a must-have tool for every PC gamer. Even though the name says MSI Afterburner, it doesn't mean it will only work with MSI products. This program will work with all the other brands, as well as all NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards. It even works with Intel HD graphics. So, what can you do with MSI Afterburner? Why it is a such a useful tool? You can use MSI Afterburner to overclock your graphics cards, set up custom fan speeds for your GPU, you can capture screenshots and gameplays, and most importantly, you can monitor how your hardware perform during a gaming session or a benchmark in real time. So, this is going to be a very basic and beginner tutorial on how to use MSI Afterburner to monitor hardware performance in real time. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, first step is to download and install MSI Afterburner in your PC or laptop. It's a free tool and less than 50 megabytes download. Download link will be in the description. After download, extract and install. This package comes with two programs. One is MSI Afterburner, and the second one is Riva Tuner Statistics Server. You need to install both programs. Just follow the tutorial. Okay, now run MSI Afterburner. At first you may have a different interface, I suggest you to change it to default interface like me. Just go to settings and find user interface tab. Okay, if you install this on your laptop, in here, you can change in between your Intel HD graphics and your dedicated GPU easily. Now you have installed MSI Afterburner. Next step is to set up hardware monitoring. Okay, now I'm in my main PC, and one game is already running in the background. And these graphs on the right hand side show how my PC perform right now. Including GPU temperature, RAM usage, CPU temperature, CPU GPU use etc. Now let's see how we can monitor all these things while in game. First step is to, go to settings and find monitoring tab. Now, if you scroll down here, you can see all the functions you can monitor while in game. For an example, let's say you want to monitor your GPU temperature while gaming. Then select GPU temperature, go down to settings and enable on-screen display option. Now do the same step to the GPU usage option as well. Like this, you can enable on-screen display option to every function you would like to monitor. For a basic benchmarker monitoring, I would suggest you to enable following things. GPU temperature, GPU usage, GPU clock and memory clock speed, CPU temperature, CPU clock speed, CPU usage, RAM usage and finally FPS. Just follow the tutorial.
After you enable all that, press apply. And go to the next tab, called on screen display. Now we have to set up a key, to toggle on screen display on and off. Put whatever key you like, I put home key, which is easier for me. Just apply all settings and minimize MSI afterburner. Now you are good to go. Now open a game or any program you like. For an example I open PUBG Lite here. As you can see, on screen display is working now. And you can toggle on and off using the key we bind previously. Ok, now I'm gonna show you how to customize the on screen display. Go down to your taskbar and find the minimize Riva Tuner Statistics server. In here you can set up font type, font size, change font colors, and even limit your frame rate. Just mess around with the settings, and customize it to your preference. It's very easy. Okay, now your on-screen display is working perfectly. Let's make few changes. Let's say if you want to see how each of your thread perform in your CPU, rather than overall CPU performance. Open MSI Afterburner and go to Settings then Monitoring tab. Now enable on-screen display option for each of your CPU thread, just like we did previously. Just follow the tutorial. After all that, apply. Okay, now you can see how each thread of your CPU perform in real time, including temperature, clock speed and usage. So, that's pretty much it guys. I'll show you how to add frame time, maximum, minimum, and average FPS graphs to your benchmarks in a separate video. If you're interested in learning more, just drop a comment below. Thanks for all the support guys. I hope you learned something new. I'll see you guys in a new video. Stay safe.